Blog Talk Radio. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, world? It's badass thugging like I usually do. And you better turn it up, bust some speakers out, because we off the motherfucking cup. You dig how we do it? Dog Pound Gangsters 2000 and beyond. Yo, yo, check this out. This is your girl, Cola Boat, and I'm chilling with my boys right here on Off the Cuff Radio. Because we're off the cuff right now. You big? That. Yeah. Uh oh. What's up? What's up? It's your boy, Lil Yap, with UNLV. Ragging them from the river. Cooling with my homies and my family at Off the Cuff Radio. Y'all be sure to tune in on Fridays and get the latest scoop and find out what's happening. You hoit me? And it's Queen Crazy, your girl's favorite bartender. And we're from Sex on the Rocks Podcast. All right, you're now tuning in to Off the Cuff Radio. Yeah, because they keep representing that world hip hop. Well, much love. All right. What's up, y'all? This is Miss Erica Lee, and you're listening to Off the Cuff Radio. Giving a shout out to the live show on Friday nights off the cuff radio. And I'm live from the 704. Make sure y'all tune in for the blazing hot music. Hey y'all, this is Stacey Lache giving a shout out to King Eric and off the cuff radio. What's shaking, y'all? This is the grand. One half of Lost Cause and one third of that drive time thing. Sending my love to the homies over at Off The Cuff Radio. Tune in every Friday night for some real, still hip-hop conversation. These dudes are the connoisseurs of this thing. You already know what it is. BX Stand Up, Hud City, we're shaking. Peace. Yo, this is Joe Fresh to And y'all tuned in to the most raw, uncut show on radio. The guillotine team. Off The Cuff. And yo, Eric Sandman. Off The Cloud. We are now at hour number two of the most live and the most direct show off the cuff radio. Y'all might have to pardon the voice a little bit. I just had my two pull, but I'm here to knock this show out nevertheless. And tonight's guest here to talk about the big event she got going down Sunday and possibly one of the most solidified in the game, and not only for the female spitters, but also in hip-hop, period. Without further ado, let's introduce Sugar T, y'all, back to Off the Cuff Radio. Hey, what's going on? How you doing tonight? Ah, just, you know, just trying to keep it pushing. I'm good. How are you? Yes, indeed. I'm happy to have you on. I mean, it's been since last year, and you have a a big show going down this Sunday night, a virtual event. Can you tell, tell us what's going on with that? Yes, for sure. We got the Sprinkle Me 2021 virtual special, uh, one of our bi, uh, bi-yearly fundraisers and uh, special where we sprinkle people to learn about the Bay Area uh, legacy. So it's um, we're doing a virtual event. It's, it's uh, this Sunday, this Sunday at 5 p.m. for West Coast time and 8 p.m. for East Coast time. So uh, you, it's, it's held at sprinkleme.biz slash events. Um, if you want to learn more about it, if anybody wants to register, they get a free gift when they register from the Sprinkle Me Boutique, and it's sponsored by myself and Sprinkle Me Boutique. Now, and planning this event here, has, what's been the challenges in planning a virtual event versus, like, planning a, a regular event? Uh, it's much, much easier. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Um, it's really easy to be true, but it's just, you know, the, of course, marketing is always the biggest challenge, making sure, you know, you got so many digital marketing companies just popping up, you know, trying to all be marketing companies, and especially since the pandemic, and just making sure you choose the right marketing team and that they're really going to do the job. That's the biggest challenge. So having to, you know, stop and, and make sure we do guerrilla marketing and participate in all the areas that we can control um, and, you know, just kind of, you know, I guess you could say risk and Minimum as possible when you're dealing with other digital outlets to do marketing. That's that's where the challenge is. Especially when you're not going out there, you're not really hitting the tours, or you're not really hitting the streets. It's a bit of a marketing challenge, but from what I'm observing, you guys are doing a great job with that. Now, do you have anybody else that's on the card? 
Thank you. Um, I actually like this one uh, better, this type of uh, marketing, because it at least you're not, you know, killing yourself getting out there. It's just once you once you establish the digital marketing, um, that the the right group that can do it right for you, or as you grow to to better it yourself. Um, I love the virtual events. Um, the people that are on it, Dwayne Wiggins, Lenny Williams, all of these are giving insights. As you know, Sprinkle Me was about sprinkling people, teaching them, you know. It was about getting people, you know, gamed up and, and you know, and helping them move through process and representing and bossing up and teaming up. So um, so we just kept that concept going, you know, through this type of a special. So there's some, you know, some pre- presenters and presentations and, you know, legacy voices of the Bay, basically, um, and some special performances. And uh, we're highlighting the Dwayne Wiggins legacy, Lenny Williams, C.C. Peniston, Mark Curry, The Real Rick Ross, uh, Rothy Gaines, um, uh, Sugar Pie DeSantos, Tara Kemp, uh, The Click, and other uh, special DJs who are just, you know, presenting and connected to the Bay as well, who contributed to the legacy of the Bay or those who were uh, connected at some capacity to Bay Area legacy. And we just pop it up, you know, Friday, uh, Sunday, this Sunday, January 31st, to make it pop. And what I like about what you're doing is is that you're showing that not only that ladies still have a place to represent in hip-hop, but you're also showing that age ain't nothing but a number as long as those bars matter. That's right. As long as them, them bars matter and, you know, and that's right, and, and how you get out, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And what you give it, what you're giving to, giving back. Um, you know, what women, I think, um, you know, they should never be uh, ridiculed for being adults, for being mature, for growing. In which, you know, this is what the industry has become. The industry has, unfortunately, there's we ourselves, which is really terrible, um, have allowed the culture to become a stagnated culture where all people want to hear is foolishness um, and great foolishness at the end of the day. You don't think it's foolishness when we're young, <laughs> but at the in the end when you get a little mature and exposed to other things and you understand what certain type of behavior that's being promoted, uh, you know, the consequences of that because what we do at one point will affect or benefit our later. Um, you know, you could be greater later or you could not be. So at the end of the day, um, you know, you kind of want to talk about other things. So, um, you know, so the industry, the culture has, has put out, you know, foolish being in front of the game and connecting the dots, calling it the queen of the game or the king of the game, and it's just it's backwards. So, um, you know, so I try to make sure if you are an older woman, and, yes, lead. I'm a leader. I'm not following the kids in that manner because I don't have to. The children need to respect their elders. They need to follow us, and it's great, you know, for them to present themselves in a way that, um, you know, that, that that's, the age appropriate when they're young and let them do that. So when we get older, there should, you know, we either have to create our lanes or, or we got to kick the door open and, 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 and voice out how they need a lane for the older generation of women so we can have multiple voices, you know, in the, in the hip hop culture. Otherwise we're just a stagnated culture, which stagnated culture means everything that's following you, everything you're influencing, every bit of energy is being stagnated because of what you're putting out there. And you just and you dropped the Rap Demic album, which dropped last year, and how and it's going to be like almost going a year this year. So how have the people responded to that right now? Are you going to be performing any of the songs Sunday from that? I am. I'm gonna do. I am. I'm actually going to do some live stuff on there. Um, I think people like it. Um, I'm, I'm. I'm not. I think I know people love it when they do hear it. You know, the album is, is what you make it. Um, you know, the machine and the push and the promotion that you put behind it is, in most cases, once you have a good product you know, and you find your audience, then, you know, that's where you can find a response. So those who have, um, I've been blessed enough to reach and put the time into reaching or those who are looking for me, they have a great experience. And it's not a, this is not a like, oh, I got an album this year and then next year another album. I'll be rocking this out for a minute. I got like, you know, 16 songs on there. So I'll be making videos out of all 14 and I have, you know, some of them set up and, you know, and, and they're ready to go out, and some sitting and still being promoted. So, it, Rapidemic is going to be a minute, uh, you know, a variety of, of, of uh, it's going to last a little while <laughs> from a variety of perspectives. Yes, indeed. And the cold part is, you got about 20 albums worth, who knows? You might have to just do one, two on your own with just your hits by itself because the resume speaks for itself. 
That's real talk. I said, you know, I think I'm just going to put singles to basically to basically to all the albums because, you know, I got so much. And it's exciting because, you know, most of us are trying to look for content, but I have plenty to work with. So at this point, it's just a matter of, you know, when I feel the, the, the desire, you know, to promote it and push it and, and make it visible, um, I'm grateful because I'll have that opportunity to do that. It's just a matter of picking the song to work. Most definitely. Now I know you probably have to. You probably have things to do because you know we pressed on time. I know you got to get this thing ready. So once again, for our audience, can you care to for those who just tuned in? You care to tell us where to find the show, how they could purchase a ticket, and we're gonna go to one of your songs after this and possibly play one of your commercials. Oh, that sounds uh, good. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Definitely. Sprinkle me that bed slash event. You can register or donate, support the cause, join and support the movement. Again, sprinkleme.biz slash events. So make sure you guys hit us up and, you know, follow the movement and support the cause and come and hang out and have a good time at the virtual special, 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. All right? Peace and blessings. Most deaf, y'all. That was Sugar T from The Click. I'm about to play y'all's two of her songs right there that you probably could check out when she's performing. This one here is called Sunshine. We're going to follow that up with Sprinkle Me, and we're going to end it with a commercial. So catch y'all Sunday. I love it. That's my favorite song, Sunshine Rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got so, good taste. We're about to do the video. I appreciate you. Most definitely. Just stay connected. <laughs> All right, I got to finish up this stuff. <laughs> good looking All out. Right, I appreciate take care, your support. Then. We'll definitely we'll definitely bring you back this year, and we could definitely have a long one because you got a lot to talk about. We intrigued with your story. Yeah, definitely more to come. Um, just stay connected. Um, Eric's gonna hit you, and just stay on lock because we got a whole lot of work to do. So we in there. All righty then. Take care. All right, King. I appreciate you. And uh, you All got right. my email, so just stay connected. She helped coordinate the schedule, but you know. You, you're welcome to hit me up. Just don't rely on me on the schedule because she keeps it together. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want you to be mad at me because yeah, I can't Yeah, she's doing a magnificent <laughs> job. I want to plug that for her while, while, we, while she's on the air. I know she's listed. One of the hardest working women yeah. out there. Yes, she is. Shout out we to salute my, you, my, one Larry. of my queens. Yeah, what, what? Yes, we do. <laughs> so, yeah, we're yes, going to go to that's Sunshine. My, that's my we're gonna, little we're young. Gonna, that's my little young mentee. That's my young young dog. You know what I'm saying? She a writer. <laughs> yes, indeed. So yeah. we, we love what young y'all doing. Soul. We thank y'all. <laughs> okay. And so thank you. We're gonna play Peace this song blessing. here, and, and we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit y'all. We're gonna stay in touch. All right, for sure. Thank you again. Enjoy the song, y'all. The rapidemic. Bam.
Let y'all know that if y'all want to catch that sugar fruit, sugar tea commercial, check it out on the YouTube page, Off the Cuff Radio, and I'm gonna have it after the recording of the show on the replay on the on the channel. So definitely check that out. Holler at me. We be at y'all next Friday, but check me out tomorrow night on Screwball Radio with Black Poet and Comet. Holler back. Guess what's coming up? The Sprinkle Me Virtual 2021 special highlighting legacy voices of the Bay with special performances and guests along with celebrating legacy voices like Dwayne Wiggins, The Click, CeCe Peniston, Tara Kemp, Sugar T, The Real Rick Ross, Lenny Williams, Linnell Campbell, Darius McCreary, Mark Curry, Sugar Pie DeSanto, Rosie Gaines, host DJ by the legendary MC Shy D, DJ Pizzo, and Flip Bolt's Rampage. Be the first to experience an exclusive reveal of the latest specialty collections from the Sprinkle Me Boutique and help us crown Legacy Voices of the Bay. January 31st, 5 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. EST. Get your tickets now, only $15. Proceeds support families and children with autism and community programs from the Work and Well Project. Participants will receive a free gift from the Sprinkle Me Boutique. See you there, January 31st.